Whether you're thrown into the role of caregiving or it slowly builds over time, it's next to impossible to meet all the needs of your loved one alone. Getting what you need from the healthcare system can be daunting and challenging, so creating a family care plan, one that aligns everyone to a common goal, is essential. The first step in any caregiving plan is to establish what your loved one needs. Needs can be vast, so try to choose a few priorities in order to avoid feeling overwhelmed. If you're not sure what the priority is, start with the safety and security of your loved one. Once you know what your loved one needs to be safe, make a list of all the ways in which you can achieve this. It's good to divide the goals into short-term and long-term objectives. Ask trusted family and friends for their ideas. Collect all the options and look at them carefully to figure out what is possible, reasonable, and affordable. Once an objective is set and the plan to achieve it has been decided, you can contact family and friends who've expressed an interest in helping. Knowing in advance who is ready and available is important to the planning and execution stages. Each member of your family care team chooses a task and together the main objectives are achieved. When families are in agreement, things run smoothly. But what if not all family members are on board? Will your family caregiving plan still work? Yes, it still can, as long as open communication is maintained between team members. Have family meetings regularly and focus on the underlying goal of your caregiving team, not the path to get there. More often than not, all family members want the same thing for their loved one, to be safe, have their needs met, and to be happy. When tempers flare, it's important to return to the common goal of achieving safety, security, and happiness for our loved one. Each person within a family has strengths that can contribute to your plan. Don't be shy to speak up and ask for what you need the other members of your family to do. Keep in mind, not everyone is equipped to provide care. Try not to be judgmental as to what individuals can't do and capitalize on what they can. Allow each member to choose their own role. Yes, often there are a few who do more or one who does the most, but don't let resentment and anger erode your own experience. It will not help you or your loved one. Remember in the end, what matters most is safety, security, and happiness. There are many roads to take to get there. Respecting everyone's idea of the path, considering all ideas, and allowing each family member to set their intentions and limits is a great way to achieve a workable and effective family caregiving plan. <laughs>